We got a Silver Age Grail from DC that I cannot wait to show you. If you want to know what it is, well, you'll just have to keep watching. You know how it goes. Go, go subscribe to We Love Comics. We love, and we do, we love comics. This video is sponsored by PGX Grading Services. Get one free pressing of your choice when you grade 10 with the code We Love Comics Free Press. Link in description. What's up, YouTube? My name is Chris, and this is my channel, We Love Comics, and I've got a book I have never owned before, so even if you've been watching my channel for years, this will be a book you've never seen before. One I have always wanted, but one that I've seen really expensive, and um, I could not wait to finally show this. This is amazing. And um, it just shows that if you don't give up, eventually you will get the things that you love. It does require work. It does require patience. But if you can develop those things, and trust me, that it does take time, eventually you will be rewarded. So this is a DC Silver Age key. And... Um, we're just going to open it up. Now, before I do, don't forget to wait until the end to see who's today's surprise subscriber shout out. If you want one of those, all you have to do is be a subscriber. And if you want to ask for one, you can. I never have a problem with that. I mean, that just shows enthusiasm. And for my power viewers, and power viewers are the ones that watch entire videos, if you see today's surprise subscriber shout out and you want to show them a little love, well, at the end of the video, when you see who it is, you could put in the comments section a little shout out for their shout out. I'm sure they'll appreciate it. So let me lower this so you could see it better. And of course, I always give the price, which always, of course, includes shipping and handling. And this one will be getting graded. So I cannot wait to show this. So here is the first time owning this Silver Age DC Grail. That is Brave and the Bold, issue number 28, which is the first appearance of the Justice League of America. This is a book that I've seen so many times and so expensive that I just kept missing out. Now, this isn't a cheap book at all, but I got a really good deal on this. Now, it does have a date stamp. I don't care about that. For me, older books kind of makes it just seem that much more nostalgic. Little tape residue here. There's also tape, like this much tape on the t in the uh, first page. That's okay. This is a lower grade book. Um, a dry cleaning would definitely help this book because you could see there's a little bit of dirt along the top. So a dry cleaning could definitely help this book. Um, looks pretty good. I mean, there's a couple little ticks here and there on the spine, but nothing major. But you can see the cover presents really well. So nothing is missing from the cover. So I would say this is probably in the 2.0 to 3.0 range. Maybe a 3.5 if you push it. Of course, I will have to look at the book in its entirety once I finish the video. I will look inside. But I've seen 1.0s. Um, ungraded, sell for about $1,500 to $2,000. So the good thing is, I guess if you want to call it a good thing, but because the movie did not do as well as they had hoped, because a lot of people also buy comics based on emotion, prices of these books started going down a little bit. Now, a key issue like this, it's going to be like those Fantastic Four books I was telling people to get for years, 48 and 49 especially, um, it's not going to stay down forever. So these are what I call buying opportunities. I mean, even if you can get a 0 0.5 of some books, I mean, if that's all you can afford, like I've always said, low grade is better than no grade. So this one wasn't a buy it now or a best offer. This was actually an auction. And I had the auction. I was ready to pull the plug at the end. I, I had the bid up to $2,100 just in case because I wanted to win this. And it was funny, it was the first time in a long time that I was actually nervous. I was actually shaking after I won because I was so excited to get this book. I was determined to win this book. Luckily, I didn't have to pay the 2100 which still wouldn't have been that bad for this book. 
I mean, it wouldn't have been fantastic, but it still would have been decent for this book. But with shipping and handling, I paid a total of $1,365.70 for this book. Um, like I said, I've seen 1.0 sell for uh, higher than that price. So, of course, like I said, I'm going to have to open up the book, make sure everything is as good as they claimed it to be. But uh, so far, so good. And for that price, I cannot complain. And even though the uh, movie hurt this comic book a little bit, this is a book that's not going to stay down for long. So if you have the opportunity to get a book like this, now is one of the better times to get it because um, the DC universe is starting to go in the right direction, and I'm very happy for that, which is kind of ironic because the last Marvel movie went in a different direction, but I, don't, I can't say that's good. But each and every person has their own opinion. But from what I'm hearing from all these DC movies now, like Wonder Woman, Aquaman, even Shazam, um, they're going in the right direction. So who knows if they eventually, a couple years down the line, do a reboot to the Justice League and uh, take their time with it. You know, good things could happen. So that is the book. I think that's a pretty darn good price, but I would love to hear what you think about this book. Um, always appreciate your uh, comments, so please don't hesitate to do that. Wait until the end to see who's today's surprise subscriber shout-out. Hit subscribe if you haven't. I always appreciate the like button that you guys can press for me. And don't forget, it's not you, it's not I, it's We Love Comics. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next video. And this was what could happen when you wish upon a star. Fish. Thank you for watching my video. If you want to connect with me on Facebook, just click right here. If you want to join our cashback program and get $10 off your first purchase of $25 or more, click here. And then if you aren't subscribed, we'd love you to join by clicking here.